the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 307, John 1 to 3. Jesus who became light. Jesus came to this world as the light to save humankind. And John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus with joy. First point. Saint John introduced Jesus as the light. Matthew started his gospel from Abraham. Mark started his gospel with the Son of God. Luke started his gospel with God. And John started his gospel with the creation. John testified that Jesus existed from the beginning of time. Thus, John traced his way to Genesis 1 verse 1. John moreover expressed Jesus as right and life and proclaimed that Jesus came to the world as the light of life. John introduced John the Baptist first. John the Baptist came to this world to prepare for Jesus. Thus, John the Baptist's role was to testify Jesus and to help others believe in Jesus Christ. However, the world did not believe in the light of the world Jesus. Isaiah had pre warned about how the people would not believe. Anyone who believes in Jesus can become God's children. John started his gospel and wrote his book in order to introduce and record Jesus Christ. Second point, St. John introduced Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God. 400 years after Malachi, a prophet finally appeared and this greatly excited the Jews. Many of them went to John the Baptist in order to repent and be baptized. The message John the Baptist had was indeed powerful and even fearful. There were many people who believed that John the Baptist was their Messiah. However, John the Baptist clearly stated that he was not the Messiah and that his role was to proclaim the coming of the Messiah. After this, Jesus appeared before John the Baptist. The moment John the Baptist saw Jesus, he said that Jesus came as the Lamb of God to take the sins away from the world. When the Jews heard this, they were extremely surprised and this was because all of them knew the tradition of the Passover and the meaning of the Lamb. When John the Baptist said that Jesus was God's Lamb, everyone knew what this meant. The story of Passover traced back to 1,500 years ago in Egypt. Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, and then God's Spirit came upon Jesus. As John the Baptist declared, Jesus was indeed the Son of God, who came to take the sins of the world. He would be sacrificed as the Lamb. After this, two of John the Baptist's disciples became Jesus' disciples. Andrew was first the disciple of John the Baptist, and then he became Jesus' disciple. After Jesus called Andrew, Peter, John, and James, he then called Philip and Nathaniel. Nathaniel listened to Jesus and confessed that he was the Son of God and also the King of Israel. Jesus, hearing this, told him that he would witness greater things. Before Jesus started his public life, he lived in Nazareth. But he was not a figure of focus there, as Nazareth was just a small town. Nathaniel even said, What good can come from Nazareth? Jesus came humbly to this world and prepared for his public life in the small town of Nazareth. Third point, out of the many miracles Jesus carried out to reveal his holiness, St. John recorded seven. John recorded the seven miracles of Jesus. The first was the miracle of turning water into wine. This was when a religious symbol was made into a true blessing. The second 
was the healing of Herod's high official's son. This was the miracle of restoration of the body and spirit. The third was the miracle of healing a sick person who had been ill for the past 38 years. Jesus turned weakness into strength. The fourth was the miracle of feeding a large crowd. Jesus not only satisfied their physical hunger, but also their spiritual hunger. The fifth was the miracle of walking on water. Jesus changed fear to faith. The sixth was the healing of the blind man. Jesus defeated darkness and turned it into light. The seventh was the resurrecting Lazarus from the dead. This miracle showed how the word could resurrect the dead. After recording Jesus' first miracle, John immediately followed up by recording Jesus' first purification of the temple. John records Jesus' purification of the temple to have been in the early days of Jesus' ministry. However, Matthew, Mark, and Luke recorded this to have been towards the end of his ministry. First point, through the conversation Jesus had with Nicodemus, he thought that one was able to gain eternal life through believing in the Son of God. John recorded the conversation Jesus had with the Pharisee Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a leader of the Jews, a Pharisee, and also a member of the Sanhedrin assembly. Nicodemus was one of the few that defended Jesus, and after Jesus died, he helped bury Jesus alongside Joseph. After witnessing Jesus' miracle, Nicodemus confessed that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus told Nicodemus that the way to reform was to be reborn through water and the Holy Spirit. Jesus furthermore told him that the way to eternal life was to believe in the Son of God. Fifth point, John the Baptist had five perceptions about Jesus. John the Baptist was an example of a best man in the Bible. The best man is glad to see that the groom is happy. When John the Baptist saw Jesus, he knew that Jesus was the Lamb of God, who came to take the sins of the world. John the Baptist also knew that Jesus was much greater than him. Jesus was the righteous judge, as well as one who baptized the people through the Holy Spirit. John the Baptist proclaimed that Jesus came from heaven. He declared that he was born on earth and Jesus came down from heaven. John the Baptist was a prophet, and Jesus evaluated him as the greatest man born from a woman. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer and you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.